Welcome to the YouTube special of our June 2022 Telethon. Father, we come in the name of Jesus around your word today. That thou hast made a covenant with our nation, Great Britain, just as you made a covenant years ago with Israel. And how we are called to keep the demands of that covenant the coronation service. So as we bring to the people, this our All to the Cause YouTube special for June 2022. We thank you for thy provision, O Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us at the Bible College of Wales Original Vision, June 2022 Telethon. Our team here, David and Lindsay Griffiths, I'm David Griffiths and Pamela Massey. We have Brian Mason in hospital just now. We're keeping him in ministry in the name of Jesus and we declare the victory over his life. You want to be part of this telethon program and my God wants you here destroyed. We know you will. The easiest way to give is to go to the footer of ecctv.org where there are stewardship, give net and PayPal buttons. Or alternatively, you can go to write a check to the Bible College of Wales, send it by post to 23 to 27 George Street, Whithorn, Wigtonshire, UK, DG88NS. Telephone 01492 or my mobile 07542 565415 internationally 0044 1492 54451 or mobile 0044 7542 565415 or you can email me at ecctv4219 at gmail.com thank you for joining us here at this very very important telethon the june 2022 telethon youtube special all to the cause the commitment to the mission field and your opportunity to be a part of us and we give you praise O oh lord and give you the glory i just want to share with you from the scriptures over the covenant god has with israel and the covenant God has with Great Britain and the United States of America. So important. And we are declaring the victory of the Lord Jesus Christ. I read from Isaiah 49. And give Jesus the praise and all the glory. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, the Holy One to him whom man despiseth, in, to him whom the nations nation abhorreth to a servant of rulers if ever there was a time when we the church has been under pressure we're hated we're tarred with the same brushes the Sadducees and the Sadducees and the abusers and father let the people see and not be blinded that the anointing of God is upon this ministry to let the nation know its transgressions. 
Now, the more that you give to this cause, the more effective we will be. The conditions are horrendous out there. You talk to people like talking to a brick wall about Jesus. But I know the Spirit of God is moving. And to enable this to happen, we need to let the nation know its transgressions. We need help. By far the easiest way to give is to go to the footer of www.ecctv.org where you will find stewardship and PayPal buttons with stewardship UK taxpayers can claim back gift day. We're encouraging you to help us in this our prophetic calling to show the monarch successive governments and the British people the serious errors of their ways in failing to keep the coronation service on oath. We are bullet pointed the key points from these. They're coming up on your screen. They're there by my side. As I read them, you can follow them and ask God what you should give into this cause so we may make these constitutional promises known by all. Help us in our prophetic calling to show the monarch, successive governments and the British people the serious errors of their ways in failing to keep the coronation service and oath and that judgment has already come the cure being in the cross of Calvary. And the proof is here of these covenant promises. You know, in 1953, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II promised to keep the settlement, inviolably promised to keep the settlement, the actual words in the coronation service. What is that settlement? It's known as the Elizabethan settlement. The settlement of the first, e, uh, first, first Elizabeth in laying down the true Christian foundations of our nation. And this then includes the promise to increase virtue, that is the anointing of Christ's religion. Now, President Reagan knew this. He said, without God, there is no virtue because there is no prompting of the conscience. Without God, we're mired in the material. That the, that's the world that tells us only what the senses perceive. Without God, there is a coarsening of the society. And without God, democracy will not and cannot long endure. If ever we forget that we're one nation under God, then we're a nation gone under. So the virtue, the anointing, she promised to increase. She also promised to repress and extirpate all errors, heresies, enormities and abuses. The monarch is to act in line of repressing extremities religiously affecting the nation. And how this has not happened and there needs to be a Lord Protector Ministry to ensure it does happen. And that is why it's important you go to ecctv.org, go to the footer where you'll find stewardship and PayPal buttons and give to the cause. Also, to conserve the peace, unity, and tranquility of the realm. To repress infiltration, foreign laws and systems into our nation. How long were we in the EU and the crazy rules and regulations? The monarch promised to keep us from these. And that is the settlement she mentions in her coronation oath. Hallelujah. Father, we pray today in Jesus' mighty name, that there be a mighty move of your spirit in conviction over the royal family, over successive governments, over the people of this nation, to tell of the error of the ways of this nation. For we are a nation established on the rock of the Lord Jesus Christ and have seriously let him down. And we need to come back to him. We remind ourselves of the demands of the oath which was taken by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. She promised to maintain the statutes, laws and customs of the realm. Number two, 
She declared the government of the people as the monarch's responsibility, according to the statutes of parliament and the laws and customs of the same. That law and justice and mercy be executed in all judgments. That the laws of God be maintained. The monarch being obligated to do this by the utmost of her power, meaning she is honor bound not to allow laws onto the statute book that contravene the words of God. And these laws which been allowed onto the statute book, we're gonna be exposing in just a moment. YouTube have asked us not to include all of them, so we are not gonna include all of them. But what we are going to show are ones which we believe we are allowed to show on YouTube. Hence this special all to the cause YouTube presentation. Not a laws onto the statute book that contravene the word of God. They're not laws at all. Any such law being null and void according to this constitutional demand. The utmost of the monarch's power has to be used in relation to the ongoing profession of the gospel and the Protestant reformed religion that has been established by law and also that rights and privileges are given by law to bishops and clergy, the settlement being the settlement of the Church of England associated with state, meaning it's also the settlement of state to increase virtue in Christ's religion. And it's the duty of bishops and clergy of that church for which I am an ordained minister to ensure that the gospel is not quietened, that the ministry of the gospel, if it is, those offending the gospel being in effect guilty of high treason. Oh, Father, how this nation has turned away from thee. And how we pray, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus for a mighty move of thy spirit in conviction to bring the monarch, successive governments, and the people back to thee, O Father. And how we pray for national days of prayer and repentance, that the church doors be open, that is the church building doors, the church being the body of Christ, the church building doors be open for people to come and repent of these things which we are presenting right now in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, how we bring to you the nine million 446,068 unborn lives lost due to her signature on the 1967 Abortion Act. How we as a nation have turned from thee that we can even consider the slaughtering of our innocents far more in number than Herod can even comprehend a holocaust of innocent lives, O oh Father. We bring them to you in the name of Jesus and we ask you to equip us with the finances to be able to take governments to court over what they're doing. Oh Father, give us that resource, we pray in Jesus' name so we can save lives. Now, instead of suppressing errors and heresies, Her Majesty has embraced the green agenda of the global order and its lies, one of which is overpopulation. The world population is 7.3 billion approximately. And if you gave them all 2,000 square feet houses, Alaska alone could house them all easily, have enough provision from its mineral wealth and food chain to abundantly supply all of those people. <laughs> this is before we discuss the nonsense of man-made climate change. Have you not known we get climate change every day? When the sun goes up, it gets hotter. When it goes down, it gets cooler. That's climate change. The majority of uh, climate change is to do with sun activity. It's been going like this for centuries. When they say it's the hottest the world's ever been, they don't know what they're talking about. The world has been through all kinds of weather changes over the centuries. And so this nonsense of man-made climate change, an excuse for control, 
needs to be removed. The climate has changed throughout history, well before cars and planes. Look, we're being conned. So understand, there has to be a stand. We in this ministry are making this stand, and you can give at ecctv.org if you go to the footer you'll find stewardship and not only stewardship you will find paypal buttons stewardship one is if you are a uk taxpayer where you can easily claim back gift day to the cause as well we trust that you do also you can send a check to the bible college of wales 23 to 27 george street whitton Wigtonshire DG8 8NS The address will be on the screen shortly We look forward to hearing from you Microchip implants are now being used in Sweden Do you really trust our Her Majesty to suppress them here? Or will she be embracing the mark of the beast? You know I commonly see Mobile phones being used now for credit transactions in stores. How much simpler would it be if this was placed on our foreheads or on our arms? Oh, we need to be aware the cashless society is here. Will Her Majesty under her oath protect us? On point number four, YouTube doesn't want us to talk about, so in deference, we're not going to do that. Number five, Her Majesty embraced the no prosecution list of Northern Ireland. The cost is ministry millions, but more importantly, denied justice to the people who lost loved ones in Northern Ireland. And has Her Majesty made any effort to repent on behalf of the nation to the Irish people who lost so many to the Irish potato famine when Ireland was part of the UK. Now I've just learned that Her Majesty the Queen's popularity rating in Ireland, the Republic, is at 50%, far high, very high, above politicians even of Ireland. And so what opportunity it would be for Her Majesty or one of her sons to go to the fields of Abastruri, Skibberine, Stand on the place where so many millions died of the potato famine, where Britain, when Ireland was part of the UK, ignored their plight. How we need to repent as a nation. What great opportunity with the marvelous popularity rating she has in Ireland, would it be for the monarch to go and stand in those fields and say, I'm so sorry, on behalf of our nation, we repent and to bring Ireland and UK back together again. Perhaps not as one country, but as best friends and trading partners. So much better a deal for Ireland than the restrictive EU, when Ireland could have true independence, but have the benefits of trading links with its nearest neighbor. I would love that to happen, and that we be best friends, and that we protect Ireland in relation to military issues. That would be wonderful to see and what an opportunity we now have to be able to do that. Her Majesty, point six, promised to uphold the Protestant reform religion established by law and the upholding of the Christian gospel. Need I say more? How often do you hear the term Protestant? hardly ever mentioned, yet she promised to uphold the Protestant reform religion, upholding of the Christian gospel. Yet there's been a refusal to teach the present generation our Christian heritage that has become part of what's known as cancel culture. Our constitution and the word of God in effect have been removed. The base from where ministries can operate so ministries like this have been isolated. We ask you therefore to give generously to the cause. ECC, ECC, I'll say it again. ECC, I'll say it again. ECCTV.org, that's the one. Go to the footer down below. You'll find PayPal. 
and stewardship buttons where you can be able to see opportunity to give to the cause. You know, we need to have the protection of government, not government, however, taking over our lives. In the reign of the present monarch, we watch Christian movements after the Christian movement bow down to the new world order and its phony Bible sold through commercial publishers like that which is owned by Rupert Murdoch. Her Majesty promised to protect the Protestant faith, but now embraces an Anglican church that in turn embraces the codices of Vaticanus, Sinaticus and Alexandrinus rather than the Bible of 16 and 11, which in UK is of crown copyright and in the United States of public domain. Oh, Father, we bring all these points to you, 15 in number. We thank you, Father, that this opportunity has been given on YouTube to be able to share all of this. That opportunity has been given to the people to give generously to the cause. Oh, Father, we thank you for the tithes and offerings coming in. In the mighty name of Jesus, I know thy spirit is moving because friends from the past are contacting us having watched ECC TV. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Her Majesty, point eight, has failed to protect the remnant church. One such couple just contacted me, said they've been going through hell over the last 20 years. We need to have a monarchy that protects the church those who are portraying the gospel. That's been the promise in the constitutional coronation service. You know, we received threats in 2010 when we were told that we would be destroyed through official channels. Inquiry after inquiry following, followed, costed this ministry huge amounts in legal fees. Time to repay the remnant and repent of the monarch's refusal to protect the faith, to defend the faith and stand as a rock between us and the new world order. You can give by going to ecctv.org to the footer where you'll see PayPal and stewardship buttons. Give as the Lord leads you to give. It's so important. We need to set out the right legal structure to take this on. It costs money. I know the gospel's free, but the cost of defense, legal defense is massive. The cost of media to get it into the hands of the people of the world is massive. And we need to have a monarchy upholding the Christian faith as promised. Point nine, refusal to take note of the prophets despite of the coronation service embracing the priesthood of Zadok and Nathan the prophet. That is the priesthood that gave Christ Jesus, the Lord, as was written then, his preeminence, rather than the priesthood of Eli that ministered to each other. You know, David Wilkerson in 1986 from New York warned of a great plague that would come on the world, even the establishment church, and we now witness that happen. Give generously to the cause, the prophets who bring to the attention of monarchs, governments, nations, the error of their ways, which is what we're doing now. And you can give at ecctv.org to the footer, to the PayPal stewardship buttons. Hallelujah. Or send a check to Bible College of Wales and write the check to that. 23 to 27 George Street, Whithorn, Wigtonshire, DG88NS. The details will be on screen shortly. Point number 10, in her reign, Her Majesty has overseen governments that have cost lives and brought instability in the Middle East, have brought in a supreme court over the Lord's spiritual and temple, so that we can no longer trust the mother of legal processes. The politicization of our education system has happened with children and students brainwashed in the ideologies of man rather than God. This whole reign has been a hopeless failure, which we believe demands sackcloth and ashes rather than the celebrations we're witnessing today in June 2022. In 2008, the Supreme Court suppressed an edict of the House of Lords 
exposing banks in their corruptions, resulting there being many victims of a banking crisis. Iceland sent their bankers to jail, but here victims bore the burden which the House of Lords tried to save them from. Where was the protection at that time promised by Her Majesty? And you can see the banking scandal at constitutionkeepers.org. Great website exposed the banking corruption of 2008. And on the Lord leading you to give, you can write a check to the Bible College of Wales, 23 to 27 George Street, Whithorn, Wigtonshire, DG8 8NS. Point number 11. In the reign of the present Her Majesty, we are witnessing the destruction of democracy and the welcoming in of a totalitarian state our forefathers stood against. We have witnessed the breakup of the United Kingdom with a costly Senate in Wales and Holyrood in Scotland. We have lived through years of the undemocratic edicts of the EU and more latterly of a government partying in Downing Street against its own decrees rather than regarding our seat of government as a house of prayer. How there needs to be a strong prophetic ministry to make it stand and you can give to this by going to ecctv.org go to the footer and you will find stewardship and PayPal buttons on the stewardship button where you can pay by your card you'll have opportunity to claim back gift aid to the cause we trust that you will point number 12 in the reign of the present monarch much of our media has moved from the respective position of investigative journalism to embracing the ideologies of woke that keep the people down on the needless regulation and suppression. Perhaps we should remind ourselves, very important, of the inscription above the foyer of the British Broadcasting House in London. Oh, how this is so important. Oh, Father, we break down these barriers in the BBC. We open up the BBC again to be a sound broadcaster, as it was under a Christian called Lord Reith, who was appointed the very first Director General. Coming up on your screen is the actual inscription. There needs to be a prophetic ministry take the BBC on. They went for us on one occasion and we thank God we were given the wisdom and a miraculous intervention to overtake them and beat them and stop them telling lies about us. We want to have a BBC back in line with the Word of God and the Temple of the Arts. This is above Broadcasting House today. This Temple of the Arts, it says, and muses, is dedicated to Almighty God by the first governors in the year of our Lord, 1931. They pray that good seed sown may bring forth good harvest and that all things foul or hostile to peace may be banished thence and that the people inkling their ear to whatsoever things are lovely and honest, whatsoever things are of good report and here comes that word virtue. Remember President Reagan again saying without virtue we're a nation gone under. Well like the BBC is going under because it lacks the virtue its first directors promised to give us. Wisdom and virtue. The BBC was established by Royal Charter so it comes under all the promises of the settlement and the coronation oath making it a place of moral virtue. But she has hopelessly failed to do this, rejecting the God-given call on her life. So we have a society today that has been witnessed by the prophets of old who have always warned of these things of impending judge and we warn of it now 
And we need to keep telling the people their transgressions, even though it might not be popular. We need to preach the conviction of the Holy Ghost, even though it might not be popular. This is our calling. This is what God has called us to do. For there is impending judgment, impending judgment always coming, as the prophets of Baal discovered before Elijah. We welcome you to our ECC TV June YouTube All to the Cause Telethon program. You can give as the Spirit leads, and I know the Spirit is leading generously to ECC TV. Yes, down on the footer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you will witness their stewardship buttons. There you can claim the UK gift date on your tax. Also, you will find PayPal buttons. Go there now. But if not, you can send a check, the old-fashioned check. Oh, yeah, to Bible College of Wales. Hallelujah. Send that check by post to Bible College of Wales. 23 to 27 George Street, Whitton, Wigtonshire, DG8 8NS. We look forward to hearing from you. Our point number 13. Instead of keeping the peace and tranquility of the well, this presence, Her Majesty, has overseen a country that was largely God fearing in 1953. There's become instead one of the morals of the days of Noah. Now these are facts, you can't cancel them, they're facts. 1953, homosexuality was illegal, as it is in many African countries and in Commonwealth countries. Not one child was legally being sucked out of a womb. The term having a partner was a business partner rather than someone you slept with out of marriage. So what we have witnessed in the monarch's reign is a massive moral decline. The monarch's successive governments and the people failing to uphold the laws of God as demanded in the coronation service. Results of which being a nation coming under the judgment of God. Example came out under our, our regulations keeping us all in. Even the house secretary broke his own rules, snogging a lady in close partnership. Oh Lord, we bring this to you outside of his own marriage. These are facts you can't cancel. And we need to bring it to the surface. There needs to be repentance. Oh, there is repentance opportunity for Matt Hancock, for anyone else. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Oh, Father, we bring all these things to you. And as thy spirit lays upon people to give generously to the cause, so we can set ourselves legally to take all this on. So we can pay our everyday bills in making television programs, and work with colleges around the world, have students of our own. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus for your provision. As led of the Spirit, you can go to ecctv.org. At the footer, there it is again. You will find stewardship and PayPal buttons. On the stewardship button, you'll be able to claim back gift aid to the cause. Or alternatively, the PayPal button. Alternatively, write a check to the Bible College of Wales. 23 to 27 George Street, Whitton, Wigtonshire, DG8, 8NS. And our penultimate point, under the reign of this monarch, we even witnessed church buildings being closed down. Unlike during World War II, when the Queen's father called National Days of Prayer, with church buildings being full day after day, long queues of people waiting to get in. What a contrast. A return to this, a nation in sackcloth and ashes can remove the judgment. 
Oh, Father, we bring all this to you in the name of Jesus. What an amazing YouTube special all to the cause we're having today. And we give Jesus all the praise and all the glory. Yes, you can go to ecctv.org to the footer stewardship paypal buttons give as the spirit leads you to give alternatively send the check to the bible college of wales 23 to 27 george street whithorn wigdenshire dg8 8ns and finally under the reign of this monarch has come a plot to repeal the 1689 act establishing the coronation oath so as have an oath more suiting to multi-faith and the present day woke society let me say to you this we are called by the spirit of god to take all this on to let the nation know its transgressions the more you give the more effective will we be you know, as I look in God's word and read the words, thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. Can we truly say that the monarch, successive governments, and the British people over the last 70 years have been led by the Spirit of God, we cannot say that. So we have to show the nation its transgressions. We give you, Jesus, all the praise and we give you all the glory, knowing that thou art the King of kings and Lord of lords. And we thank you for joining us for this wonderful anointed program of God. Oh, how we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We ask you to give as the Spirit causes you to give. We give Jesus all the praise. Thank you for joining us at the Bible College of Wales original vision for this YouTube 2022 Telethon special. We give Jesus the praise and the glory.